something very different than what we've done on the channel before. Doing a live playthrough of the Willow Arcade game. This is something I picked up a long time ago from a card shop that was going out of business and they owed me a lot of money and this was part of the uh, squaring up. Recently replaced the power supply, my first arcade repair, and it is working quite well. So I figured I'd do a playthrough and have some fun with it. I think we need like 850 goals for the first upgrade. So this game is from Capcom, it shares some DNA with Mega Man, Willow kind of has this charge shot, it's got a slide, and he'll upgrade as the game goes on. Oh, missed a coin there. We won't have enough to upgrade again here. I think that requires like 2,000 gold or something crazy. So it's not gonna be a speed run or like a no hit run. I'll try to not have to continue, I guess. Be a reasonable goal. Got some 16-bit Val Kilmer here. Guess the Willow series is gonna be coming to Amazon. They got a lot of stuff in development over there. Some pretty good stuff so far. I've been really impressed with Invincible and the boys. Their original stuff has been quite good. usually take a loss of a life on this. It's pretty tough not to. You fall off the wagon, you're dead. Thank you. 
Yeah, these eagles just give you tons of gold. Collecting a whole lot of golds. Now this charge shot turns everything into gold, which is not that different than just killing everything, because everything drops coins when it dies. But it feels more like turning them into gold than killing them. Pretty easy to lose life on this level too.
Wow. A lot of damage. Uh, we've got a lot of gold, though, so I'm just going to spend some of it to level up here. Enemy magic? I don't even know if that works. You can see the little beads on the bottom there. Yeah, I don't think I've ever beaten this without dying. I might have beaten it without continuing. Bump into his hitbox, apparently. Oh, needless hit there. This is actually going to be the hardest jump in the game coming up. Wow. All right, hardest jump in the game. You gotta kinda wait until you fall a little bit. Nope. There we go. Sometimes there's a brownie over there. Now going back is no problem, just going forward. And you can mine for a whole lot of gold here. Probably, I mean, it's a lot easier if, if we had the upgraded sword. this boss with just two, uh, two health. Guess we'll see. Oh, he does not seem to be doing very much damage. Brownie was not a ton of help there. Yeah, it's pretty much just a war of attrition. Seems to be the fastest, simplest way to beat her. Maybe there's a way of doing it without taking a hit, but... game wasn't working for a while. We've got Raiden that I've got to fix, and Captain America and the Avengers is the other cabinet that I've got to repair.
And now we get the only level you get to choose if you use Willow or Mad Mardigan. Yeah, as you upgrade, your base shot gets bigger and bigger. So not only do you get the charge toward better outcomes, just your regular shot actually does more. charge is currently a time freeze and then the next one will be a lot of explosions intentional. Alright, so we may be able to upgrade again here. Is it 10,000? It is 10,000. Alright. Dropping bombs on people. I think that's a life, yeah. Kind of neat, they both have their own life bars, which is a nice touch. Last Mad Mardigan level. Oh, shot in the foot.
little reminiscent of Mega Man. Little Heat Man stage from Mega Man 2. Well, we might be able to make it through this boss. It's kind of similar to the previous one. Pretty much just get in their face and wail on them. Yeah, the sword is good enough now that you can actually bat down the axes, which is nice, because they're kind of tough to deal with for the rest of the game. Mad Mardigan's too tall to duck underneath them. Willow can just actually crouch and avoid the damage, but Mad Mardigan, you're stuck taking hits. And you may not have noticed, but there were a bunch of doors to choose. We just chose all the right ones to get here. stage. That uh, looks pretty good for 16-bit. jumps are pretty precise. And they can be pretty punishing as well if you fail. Let's see if, uh, see if we can get through here. Go, going in with full health at least. Would have been nice to have some of the extra health. Oh, that was two avoidable hits there. actually pretty clean so that is it game works great I'll be letting go of it this summer find a new home for it got Captain America and the Avengers that I want to fix the monitor on that that one I'm going to keep I love that game 
and I think it's the one arcade cabinet that I'll keep in the house. And then I've got Raiden, which I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with. That one's going to be a challenge. This was pretty easy. This was just replacing the power supply. It was a pretty simple fix. The rest of the cabinet's in beautiful shape. So we'll see. See what they do with the Amazon series. I enjoyed the movie as a kid. The game's a lot of fun. It's a cute, uh, cute baby there. This probably costs so much money. This voiceover work that's gonna come up right here. Willow and Matt Martin were bravely fought to defeat the evil queen of Morda. Darkness has given way to a world of peace and happiness. Willow Upward, a great sorcerer. Matt Martin, a brave warrior. Their names will live on forever. I can only imagine how expensive that was to do back in the day. But yeah. And that's actually where the ELD comes from, so to speak. I always used to play in arcades when I was younger. And that was that was my initials for the arcade cabinet. But yeah, it's a nice looking cabinet. Nice marquee. So I will be letting this go this summer to make more room downstairs for the game room, do some more tabletop. All right, well, that was fun. Peace.